to your life. Alhamdulillah wahdah wa salatu wa salamu ala man la nabiyya ba'dah wa ba'd assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Peace and blessings of Allah God Almighty be upon all of you. We wish you the best. I hope and pray to God Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that you are enjoying your health and enjoying your time and you are safe as well as also you are uh, watching the news and what's going on in our country. Unfortunately, what's going on, this affecting all of us, whether we are on the street or at home, but we pray for everybody for the safety, security, and also the justice uh, to be executed and to bring the peace to all our citizen fellow Americans here. We need the spiritual part, me as an Imam, to ask all those who have faith, regardless what you have to pray for our people in our country, and to bring peace and blessings, and also to hold, uh, just for uh, to bring the justice to everybody who is uh, deserving uh, to be brought to justice, inshallah. What we have today, welcome to uh, Guidance College, uh, program we have a meeting session lecture to say uh, during the time we have allowed to share with you inshallah about the subject my subject with you will be about mediation and conflict resolution mcr mediation and conflict resolution uh, we spoke before about just to make an introduction to remind you about what we discussed before and then go with our message we have today a PowerPoint presentation, some slides to show you, and then uh, we'll have videos to watch, and I need you to pay a very at close attention to the videos, because I want to ask you at the end a question about these two videos, inshallah, that will make you really aware of what the mediation, what you are talking about, and will be great blessing for me and you, that to good experience as well, that to know in this field, something that to be aware of. We, when we spoke about before about the, some introduction about the terms. We spoke about the terms concerning the mediation. Number one, we say, including, I mean, what ADR, what is ADR? ADR means alternative resolution to the, uh, the what's called that ADR is, a, it is first of all, less formal, method of uh, uh, helping bringing resolution then to go through the, uh, what's called uh, a judicial system, a litigation system, and uh, determined, uh, determined by uh, the judge or the court. But ADR means to use one of the methods that to go through the mediation as a mediation or as conciliation or as arbitration. All this includes the ADR, basically that to be uh, helping to solve, to solve your uh, problem. So where the civil uh, dispute is reconciled between the parties with the help of a third party called mediator. Party that will be person one or two or you know, that will be uh, accepted, maybe some, depend the system where we are going and dealing with who. Mostly in this country, to be one person or to be two, mediator and co-mediator or two mediators that to be involved in this uh, dispute to solve it. That's what will be the ADR basically. Then we are, we talk about BATNA and WATNA. BATNA, the best alternative to a negotiated agreement or worst, alternative to negotiate agreement means what is the best when somebody is having a dispute with somebody else what is the minimum the maximum and what is the best to compromise and what cannot compromise that's what really in details we spoke about it last week and you can go back to that session but to remind you about the headlines also another term we talk about what is caucus the caucus is a method used by the mediator to allow uh, parties that to share 
uh, information or to encourage the parties to share the information. Maybe sometimes the parties face to face on the same table of mediation, they don't like to uh, talk to each other uh, in some details with the mediator. To, well, they want to inform one of them, want to inform the mediator, he or she, about something, but they cannot speak on behalf of, on front of the other par party. So prefer that to or dispute maybe too much tension in this mediation. So the mediator out of his wisdom that to say, let's focus, let's divide, and each one of them will be different room and he will run between them or she in a way that to bring an agreement and bring common ground to agree about it. So today we are going to discuss inshallah advantages and disadvantages of mediation that we have basically, uh, if you allow me, what is mediation? What is mediation that to be, I just see the screen now here, and uh, see that to tell you, it's very beautiful, and I, very, I encourage many of our listeners and watchers and viewers that think about to be one day a mediator. And not too late, not too far, but as soon as possible, because dispute is increasing among the society members, and we need mediators. We need mediators. So what is mediation? Mediation is a process in which the participant, the parties disputing, with the support of a mediator, official, certified, or credited. We can talk about it later on, what the difference between certified and mediator, credited one, and uh, identify issues, develop options, and consider alternatives and make decisions about future actions and outcomes. The mediator acts as a third party and is a neutral person. He has nothing to do with the problem and the dispute between these two parties, otherwise you'll be biased. And that's what the po both parties have to accept, uh, the nomination of this mediator by the maybe company or the firm or the institute, it depends where we are dealing with the mediation, where we are talking about, is it uh, like we have ADR, what's called the DRS uh, in our Turing County here, which is a Turing County, so the court will say to the couple, go and finish it, uh, finish your problem and dispute outside of my court. That's what the judge would say. Encourage them to go through mediation and give them a list of mediation centers in a way that really uh, to solve their problem outside if they can afford to do that and save time and headache and a lot of money. Otherwise, the judge will decide it. So the mediator acts as a third party to assist the participant to reach their decision. Why assisting? Because all the time, not sometimes, all the time, the one who is living in the dispute days and nights, months, sometimes years, that will not see the full picture, but you see it from a specific corner, and that's it. And as well, not willing to see it another way. So the duty of the mediator to try to bring parties to see something and to think about something that never saw or never dealt with before. So what we have goals of the mediation to achieve, absolutely. Me as a mediator, I'm a certified mediator. With, I study mediation in the University of North Texas, graduate 2009. I go to the mediation center, I volunteer, uh, and it's called the DRS, Dispute Resolution Service Center of North Texas. And believe me, I learned a lot of things because I was studying one of the subjects in this institute. And after I graduated, I went back to volunteer one day a week go to mediate one case or two cases, depending on the time I'm volunteering accordingly. So what the goal to achieve, to get that disputant to listen to each other. Very common, especially when it comes to the family dispute, husband and wife, they are not willing to understand each other or to listen to each other or to look at each other. So when they agree both to come to the mediation, they have to sit down and face to face and talk to each other. While they have lawyers next to them to consult with, or no lawyers at all. I don't prefer, I don't advise the couple that to go the mediation with the lawyer because mediation means a lot that to take all the, you know, uh, pain and the suffering and a lot of things, emotions and feelings. Absolutely, you need to express it through the mediation and you have the right to do so. So the goal is to achieve that, to get the dispute and to listen to each other. Number two, to get them to arrive and to come to a common ground and also fair deal and agreement and solution to their dispute. 
Mediator makes no final decision. It's not his business to decide anything, just to help them to come to common ground and to suggest solutions. A uh, facilitator he is of communicating between the parties. They don't want to talk to each other. They don't want to listen. Don't know. And he will create and imagine things and sometimes suggest things. If they accept it to help to solve the problem, why not? When somebody needs from the other $100,000, and the other one said, I'll give you only 10,000. There's no need to waste time. But maybe a try, maybe a few minutes to find out is he willing. The one who's asking the 100,000 to go down, this requirement or a required amount, or what is the amount? Can you give up some? Can you delete some? Can you be generous and be kind and go down from 100,000 to 50, to 75, to 60, whatever? That's the mediator would say or suggest. And see the other one, can you raise your expectation that to pay and to meet somewhere? If not, or maybe 15 minutes, half an hour, maximum 45 minutes to say, according to the uh, suggestion or the thinking of the mediator, the situation, the atmosphere, the spirit in the discussion and debating and what, there is a hope or there is no hope. So he can tell them that they look like there is no hope. We cannot continue the whole thing like this. You have to give up, otherwise, let's finish it. So he's a, he's a facilitator of communication between the parties. If solution reach, then God, alhamdulillah. So usually that reduced to a written contract and will be written. If they have his clients' lawyers, then the lawyers will write their agreement and then will make copy in the office of the mediation and keep one copy in the records of the mediation center or institute, and then the lawyers will submit it to the court after that with the uh, logistics of the official uh, signatures here and stamps of the institute to say that being done here and reach this conclusion. If solution reached now, then will be written. What was said at the mediation is confidential, and that's what the, media, the, the clients will be given specific papers carry the name of the institute basically mostly this way and they are not allowed to take it with them no party is allowed to take it with them leave it on the table and we'll shred it not put in the file we'll shred it after the meeting ended we'll go to the shredding department and confident confidentiality is guaranteed and nobody is allowed to speak about it neither the mediator or the parties without the approval of the other parties depend the agreement what they have also, that goes to achieve common uses, that to collective to, uh, collective bargaining disputes or the insurance claims. It's mean what we can talk about, what can we deal with about these kind of issues, environmental disputes, uh, landlord with the clients, and so on. This one of the goals that to achieve from the mediation. Now we, uh, we have advantages and disadvantages of the mediation. There are many advantages to mediation over the other forms of alternative dispute resolution or ADR uh, or civil litigation. When we talk about litigation, means court, means lawyers, means money and secrets and a lot of work and long time process. We'll talk about that. Advantage of mediation now is much less costly than civil litigation for many reasons. A, B, C, D, and E, we have more. The preparation for mediation is far easier and simpler than is required to prepare for arbitration or litigation. B, attorneys are not necessary in the mediation, but may participate at the request of the party. I need to consult with my lawyer. So this is an advice, my humble, simple advice. You don't need to have a lawyer with you in the mediation room because he's charging you or she charging you as a lawyer for every minute, but so you can consult before you make decision, we have the right not to sign anything as an agreement, mutual agreement uh, with the other party or party representative, unless you consult with the lawyer. You have the right to do that. Okay, now see, we have mediation is faster process than civil litigation. Absolutely. Half day mediation, four hours or two hours, you have an agreement done, finished. While talk about litigation, that's, you know, in the court, will take months, sometimes will take years. D, we have mediation is, is private process and not subject to public knowledge. 
and possible media attention, as can be the case with the civil litigation. Because when you go to the court, it is public record. So any media can search and find, and you'll be famous. What does it mean? We'll be on TV. We have to be aware of that. Well, in mediation, everything will be in the room and not will not go outside of the room, except the agreement to be submitted to the court if we have an agreement. Advantages of mediation also we have, you are directly settling a case at mediation can allow you to avoid the stress and anxiety associated with going to court and having to testify. In the court, you don't speak as a client, but your counselor or your lawyer will speak on behalf of you. And according to the timetable of the judge, when the judge will say, uh, I don't need more than that, that's enough. Even the lawyer cannot force the judge to listen to. But you have to be given the chance, yes. But if the judge, he got the idea, he understood what the lawyer is talking about, say, yes, that, that's enough. I understand what you want. Okay, then go to the next party. One other point we have, you are directly in a mediation. That's the advantage of the mediation involved in negotiating your own agreement not somebody else negotiating. Also, plus, during this, the negotiation of the agreement on the table, of mediation table, that you are expressing your anger, your frustration, and whatever you have with the other party. You are allowed to speak whatever the way you want. And the mediator have no right to uh, tell you no, unless you go violently now, and then will be absolutely very offensive, then maybe sometime you have to ask an officer to control the situation by being in the room, sitting there or standing there. It's up to the agreement. Generally, also the cost with the mediation greatly less than comparing with the uh, pursuing the matter through the courts or, or arbitration. Arbitration means to have one or three to arbitrate and decide, similar to judging. We can talk about later on this, uh, another session about different between mediation and arbitration, basically, and what the advantages so on. So to decide your case, it's like a court. You can speak and don't speak, keep quiet. You have to submit something. It has a chain of command. But mediation, have, the mediator have no authority to do anything other than to bring parties together to mutual ground of agreement, a mutual agreement to be signed and to be submitted to the court. Also advantages, it is possible that to reestablish a positive relation between the parties, once the dispute is resolved, means when this issue is resolved, still the parties disputing now and finish this with the agreement and sign the agreement and submit to the court, done finish, still they can be friends and can be neighbors, can be also can talk to each other and good relation, but uh, if litigation will be absolutely will be worse or arbitration will be very hard and difficult to go back. So advantages again that disputes settle quickly. Agreement reached by mutual consent, not by decision of the third party. And it is less formal setting, it is normal setting. Also, you have time to say, I would like to, I need rest five minutes. Or the mediation process will stop five minutes. In the beginning, you'll see that the mediator will ask you, do you have any special contact or phone call to do or anything to do? So you need to know ahead of time so we can stop altogether. And the mediator cannot stay in the room, by the way. We come when we can talk about the mediator role and playing here. Mediator is selected by parties, by the parties. Both parties have to approve and to agree about this mediator because maybe he belongs to or he knows and good relations with one of the two parties, which is absolutely going to be biased and not going to be fair in the mediation process. So the other party has the right by knowing this that to say, I don't like this mediator with my respect. I would like to delay the case until we get mediator neutral and also not to know either one of us. This advantage is that mediator will charge you nothing free. So have they, for me to say, for example, each party will pay $450, half day, full day, you can imagine. Sometimes we have full day. I went to Seattle to mediate. I was invited by the clients, lawyers, to mediate between them. So I spent the whole Saturday until 12 midnight. And next day, on Sunday morning, we wrote the agreement between both, alhamdulillah, thank God, we have an agreement and being signed by both and submitted to the court. Only also the disadvantage that help to make decision, nothing else. Also, 
uh, may be less likely to reach a settlement without a deadline. This is another issue that, too, subhanAllah, we have. Also, we have benefit of mediation. We have five, actually, points of benefits uh, for the mediation that we have time and cost savings. We have confidentiality uh, benefit. We have uh, self-determination as a benefit. Uh, not somebody else decide on behalf, but you. The self-determination. Also that you have uh, feelings and emotions through the mediation as a benefit. Five, number five in the last, that the process, flexibility, and uh, informality of mediation. So let's see what we have here. Time and cost savings that will be... Uh, Mediation provides more time resolution because mediation is informal and flexible. Mediation could take place in a matter of days or even hours. It sometimes depends the case. We need more evidences or more uh, proofs or something like that. Also by reaching a prompt resolution, much of the emotional drain from engagement in, uh, in uh, continual conflict is also avoided here, as we suggested before. Benefit number two, confidentiality and privacy. Uh, as we say, the courthouse is a public institution, and when lawsuits are filed, all the activity of the courtroom is open to the general public, as you said before. Also, that mediation allows all facets of a matter to be revealed and discussed in a greater detail privately, because you can speak freely whatever you want to say, and nothing will go outside of the room. We go to the third, self-determination. Self-determination that uh, in mediation, the parties are the final decision maker, including whether they wish to ultimately resolve the matter as well as the terms of any resolution that they come, come between them. Number four, before the last, we have feelings and emotions that will be absolutely the values of expression and understanding and release the emotions and basic human expressions such as an apology or an act of forgiveness. And uh, some, many times that mediation ended with shaking hand, hugging, kissing each other, and asking each other forgiveness and continue the relationship beautifully. Spirit. Process also number five and the last, process flexibility and informality that mediation by design is flexible, also informal, as well as parties are encouraged to discuss any issue and express themselves freely, whatever the way they want and parties are more at ease and participate more fully in the process, basically. This is what we have today to share with you. We have a video uh, to share with you, and uh, we'll go with that, inshallah. To, I want you to tell me what you learned from this, and share with me, uh, inshallah, as my email, mediation5562. Uh, 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 gmail.com uh, gmail.com so uh, we'll be inshallah this one here to share with you this video I'm sorry this one here let's see okay my hair uh, first we'll go with this one And uh, I want you to tell me what you think about these two videos, what you learn from them, and uh, any suggestion you have. Watch it, please, and write your notes. Please write your notes.
Okay, now we go, now we go, okay. We go with the, the I'm sorry, the sample here.
So I think we uh, showed everything. And uh, I pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that, yes, this first time to have this, we have some technical maybe, or uh, was we can do better, inshallah, next time. But I hope that you learned something today about the process. We saw the two videos. I want to tell me something about how did you feel about this basic introduction of the mediators and what the first one, and what the difference between the first one, the first video and second video, I will talk about it next week, inshallah. God bless you and reward you the best. Walhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Wa assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I hope that really uh, this everything uh, we learned today will be a good experience. And if you have any question again, please do not hesitate to contact me. Uh, and if you have any question or any comment or any suggestion, I'm very open to this. And this is this field, by the way, is a new to the Muslim community in general, because mostly they go to uh, not through, uh, not to have um, maybe uh, many so-called imams to be mediators. I encourage all the imams that to think of it. I will need ladies to get involved with this and to be mediators as well. We pray to God Almighty to accept from all of us. We work with the best. Allahumma ameen. Just stay healthy and safe and keep praying to God Almighty to bring the best to all of us. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.